African leaders have vowed to work together in order to fight terrorism and violent extremists which have in the recent past eroded a favorable business climate on the continent. This was during the African Union Peace and Security Summit held in Nairobi earlier in the week. Boni Tunya was there and filed this report. A large part of African populations comprise of youth below the age of 20 with no employable skills or a meaningful source of livelihood, making them an easy target to violent propaganda peddled by violent extremists and terror organizations in the region. Terrorist organizations continue to grow and evolve by radicalizing vulnerable youth to continue perpetuating their deadly cause. Radicalization of vulnerable youth through violent messaging continues to be one of the reasons why terrorist organizations attract recruits from a global audience that use the World Wide Web and social media. Africa's porous borders have contributed to the growth and spread of terror groups in the continent with its adverse effects evidenced by the downturn in Kenya's tourism sector that has resulted in job losses. To this end, the African leaders are looking towards improved cooperation and intelligence sharing. You will agree that globally terrorism has also become intrinsically linked with other transnational crimes including drug trafficking, poaching, money laundering, therefore exasperating the threat to our continent. We therefore need to coordinate our efforts both at the national, regional, but also at the continental level to strengthen our response to this serious challenge and threat to our continent security. Terrorism is a challenge to every state and to all humanity. It cannot be justified on ideological, political or religious grounds. And it is essential for us to strengthen our cooperation since no single state can tackle this threat alone. The establishment of the All Just Peace African Center for the Study and Research on Terrorism, the appointment by the chairperson of the Commission of a Special Representative for Counterterrorism Cooperation, as well as efforts being made to enhance member states' normative and operational capacities facilitate the sharing of intelligence and enhance coordination and address the issue of payment of ransom to terrorist groups. Offering an alternative to terrorist narrative has been the biggest hurdle in Africa's fight against organized crime. With crimes like money laundry and proceeds of narcotics fanning the flames of terror in Africa. The gathering that saw the coming together of 15 African heads of state and government also resorted to setting up a fund for the fight against terror with a boost from Saudi Arabia pledging 10 million US dollars to the cause. Another key resolution was the strengthening of partnerships with key international stakeholders like the UN Counterterrorism Implementation Task Force and the UN Office on Drugs and Crime. It is imperative that we deal with the social and other conditions that contribute to radicalization and the emergence of terrorism in order to provide our people and the youth with alternatives that will delegitimize the terrorist narrative, we must address the ethnic, social and religious tensions that the terrorist groups exploit to turn communities against each other. And while terrorism is ideologically driven, African nations must also strive to tackle issues such as poverty, poor governance and long drawn out conflicts on the African continent that offer a breeding ground to violent extremists. The African Union Peace and Security Summit being held here in Nairobi today comes exactly 20 days to the commemoration of an Al-Shabaab related bombing of a shopping mall here in Nairobi. With a common message from the heads of state gathered here today being there is need for cooperation and information sharing in the fight against terror. Boni Tunya for CNBC Africa in Nairobi.